Folks, it's John from the Organic Grow Channel, and uh, today we're just doing an update. The sun's going down, so I waited till it got cooled off, but it's still hot. There's no wind blowing at all, and we got like it's like I don't know, 100. And they said it was 110 heat index right now, so it feels like you can swim through the air. But I want to show you all the tomatoes and peppers that we got popping, but. This weather's kind of messed stuff up, so you'll see some of our plants looking kind of rough because we had that 70 mile an hour wind and we was running from 80s to 60s and now all of a sudden, you know, one day it changed over to 100 during the day and, uh, you know, 88 at night, you know, and we're like 100 or 99% heat index, you know, so, I mean, the heat, in, you know, or the humidity is what I'm trying to say. But the heat index, you know, it's like 112 out here. But anyway, I'll do it later on this evening. So let's take a look at the garden. I'll be right back. All right, folks, we're back again. And as you can tell, you know, we got our sage still going. You know, Mama's been trimming it. We got our cilantro. You know, I think that was the regular cilantro. And this is the Greek cilantro. So she's still trimming it pretty good. I think this was the uh, thyme, if I'm not mistaken, and some more sage, you know, she's been trimming, and uh, this old cilantro, no, that was oregano back there, sorry folks, these pots right there are oregano, Greek oregano and regular oregano, and right here's our cilantro, as you can tell they're flowering because of the weird weather, but that's okay, once we trim them down they'll come back. And here's the old chives. You can see what they're going through. The old heat right now. And it's so humid at night, everything's wet. You know, so we got like really wet nights and dry as hell during the day and got the Sahara Desert sand blowing in on us. There's more, uh, what is this, cilantro? I think that's more cilantro, if I remember right. There's chives here. You know, the old mint plant ain't done too good, but I picked some mint off of it to make me some pest control spray. If y'all ever wonder what I use for pest control, sometimes I uh, ferment some mint in a uh, spray can for a day or two and let it soak and then uh, strain it and use it to spray my plants. You know, that's another little thing I do if I need it, which I haven't, you know, had to, but I did the other day anyway. And here's some more cilantro. Here we're coming to the peppers. Here's our California Golden Wonders, which mom, she's already been cutting peppers off, as you can tell. And we got, you know, there's some up here, some smaller ones. Right here, some more California Wonder. And they're looking pretty nice. They got the smaller ones right now so far. But like I said, my mom's been out here picking these, so. All we'll see is like smaller ones today, folks. And here's all our, there's our mammoth uh, jalapenos. You can see the old jalapenos in there. Looking nice, looking nice. Them are supposed to be some pretty big jalapenos. Here's another mammoth jalapeno. And then we got the red one, the red, uh, can't remember red red something peppers. I'll have to have a right rewrite these names on here. And then we got another one here. You know, we got the old banana peppers, and as you can tell, they popped already. We got banana peppers all over this girl. Looking nice, looking nice. We got our old buddy out here, our mouser and molar. Got these beautiful banana peppers going. 
And here we're coming back to the, uh, I think, California Wanderers. And as you can tell, they're looking nice. They're starting to split up on top. This one here looks a little rough, but like I said, we had 70 mile an hour wind, folks. But this plant looks rough, but look at it in there. One, two, three, four, five. There's six bell peppers in there. These are nice looking bell peppers. Look at them, folks. Sooner sauce. That's if it doesn't rain so much it washes out of your pot. We're starting to pop peppers in here. They're slowly coming around, if y'all can tell. Looking at the plant. See all the rough stuff here? This is the older growth. This is what went through the 70 minor wind. And you see the newer growth up here? How nice and green it is. It's starting to catch up with the climate, the big climate change we just had. And here's the jalapenos. And as you can tell, they're looking nice and full. There's a lot of those on there. There's probably 10 to 12 peppers on there, folks. Big old nice jalapenos. Beautiful. Beautiful. And you know, we, we got some that's still stunned from this big heat wave. But they're still putting on, folks, as you can tell. Jalapenos there. Here's another Cali Wonder. Probably been already picked on bell peppers. Let's get around here to the tomatoes. We got the old tomatoes are popping. If you look up in here, folks, this sucker is loaded down with tomatoes everywhere. Loaded down with them everywhere. There's big ones down in there. Little one. These are the Arkansas Travelers. Let me zoom back. Look at all the tomatoes, folks. Tomatoes everywhere. Sooner sauce, folks. I'm telling you. You can't go wrong. All natural. Look at all these clusters of them up in here. And like I said, they're all over. Looking good. And like I said, these are all the Arkansas trailers. And you see some of this this uh, deader stuff right here. This is from uh, going from real wet and moist to hot and or wet and moist and cold cool to hot and dry. <laughs> good old Oklahoma. Like they say, if you don't like the weather one day in Oklahoma, stay another day. Yeah, but they're looking good, folks. You know, these are all our Arkansas travelers. Look how, look how loaded down these, these things are. There's tomatoes all the way. They're everywhere. Let's just say we're going to have a lot of tomatoes. These are the early girls right here. Look at them tomatoes up in there, folks. Here's the jelly beans. Look at them jelly bean ones there. Look at this, folks. That's a lot of tomatoes right there. These old jelly beans have took over. They're almost like a medium-sized cherry tomato. Look at them all. But they're coming around, folks. Jelly bean tomatoes everywhere. All right, look at them in there. Mmm, let's get one of these here and try it out. Look at this. That's a jelly bean, folks. Jelly bean, ch uh, cherry tomato. See what they taste like. Mmm, man. I'm telling you right now, folks. Organic's the only way to grow tomatoes. You see how meaty they are? Let me see if I can focus it in for y'all. Look how meaty those are. I'm going to eat the rest of it. Here, I'll get you guys another one. I'll check it out. I love tomatoes, folks. Alright, see, look how this tomato is. Now, we're growing organic with sooner sauce, right, folks? Watch this. Let me take a bite out of it. Look how meaty that tomato is. And that's a cherry tomato. 
See how thick they are? See how thick they are? Organics, folks. Sooner soft. Our garden is doing okay. But, like I said, we had, in three days' time, we had 12 inches of rain. And it kind of flooded out. Sorry, I was still eating that tomato. And it started flooding this out, so... We got some work we got to do in here, folks. The weeds and stuff are getting up in there. But we'll get to that sooner or later. Let's go check out the hot pepper side, my side. Be back in just a second, folks. All right, folks. I'm back again. And as you can tell, we got Crazy Coda out here with us. Hello, Coda. What's up, girl? But anyway, let's get to looking at this stuff here. Here we got our Caribbean. And as you guys can tell, she's starting to flower. I haven't seen any peppers yet on her, but they ought to be coming pretty soon. Or right, there might be a small one in there. It's getting a little dark out here now, folks. Sorry about that. Don't want to have another heat stroke. Here we've got our other, Car our other Caribbean. It's supposed to be 400,000 skull. And we got our habaneros here. And we do have peppers on our habaneros, folks. If I can find them again. Let me see here. Let's see, here's a habanero, yeah. See, we got a baby habanero there. Get out of there. But as you can tell, everywhere there's a flower, folks, will be a pepper. So she's getting ready to start popping really good. Let's see, yep, we got some down in here, folks. Got some habaneros are coming. Let's see, I'm counting one, two, three, right there. Heck yeah. And here we got our ghost pepper here. I haven't seen any on this yet, but we've got flowers on her. Here's our Carolina Reaper. I know this is a ghost pepper, sorry, folks. <coughs> <laughs> she's big too this is a big pepper plant I'm gonna get a lot of ghost peppers off of her and then we got our jalapenos here there's one and these are all sooner sauce fed folks there's the other ones and right here we got our, Ca our, our Carolina Reapers but look at these girls I see a few flowers but I don't see any peppers yet But they are looking beautiful, folks. And then we got our little runny Carolina Reaper here. We got our Carolina Reaper there. She, I, I don't see any flowers on her yet. So she's not quite ready. Oh, yeah, maybe right there. Actually, there's a couple button peppers right there. All right, folks, we're here at my tomatoes now. As you can see, they're flying. And you can see the moisture is getting them at night. But they're not too bad. They're over my my cages now. Let me stand back here and you guys can see this plant. That's Sooner Sauce for you, folks. And this is Black from Tula. And here's our other Black from Tula. And as you can tell, they're kind of heat stressed a little bit right here. But that's okay. They're starting to get used to the climate. And like I said, I planted these later, folks. So I haven't quite got tomatoes off of them yet. And here's our Cherokee Purples. And they're looking nice. Looking nice. And as we can tell, we're already getting flowers on them. So we'll be popping tomatoes off of them. Here's our Bueno Molates. And they're looking really good and healthy. They're coming around. And then we got our, our Sugar Peach Rush right here. And she's starting to flower. So we're, we're going to be getting some peppers off of her pretty quick. And right here we got our our sweet red Mongo, Mongola, I think. Mongola, yeah. Our sweet red Mongola. And I got to do some cleaning up, folks. I haven't mowed since I got hot the last time. And then right here we got our, uh, our Poblano. And right here are our beefsteak tomatoes in the ground. 
We've got two of them, and as you can tell, they're climbing pretty good. Sooner sauce fed. All right, here we got our Arkansas Travelers. We got two of those, folks. And then right here, we got our big boys. They're looking really nice, folks. There's our other big boy. You can see a little bit of the heat stress on them, too. Just a little. And then right here, we got our celebrations. Which I've noticed on the celebration tomatoes, folks, they don't mind the heat too much. It really didn't affect them too bad. You can see a little leaf curl on them, but not too much. But there's our family garden update, folks. And like I say, me and Coda, she's hot today, too. Like I say, me and Coda say, hey, it's free. Subscribe, you know. Check out what this country boy is doing. Hit that notification so you can see what I'm up to. Give me that thumbs up if you guys like my video. And uh, everybody have a great Father's Day. Peace out, folks.